Citrad Inbox step-by-step -step tutorial video. Feel free to pause this video to complete every step accordingly. Step 1. Power up your Citrad Inbox. This smart powerful box will start up important procedures. Step 2. Observe the power LED starting red, switching to blinking green, then solid green, while the status LED will flash yellow, then flash blue, indicating it is time to connect. Please allow a few minutes to complete this process. Step 3. On your cell phone, go to the Wi-Fi networks, searching for Ctrad Inbox Net, then fill up the password Ctrad001, all in small caps, then wait until check mark of connected. Step 4. Go to your cell phone browser, then type in 192.168.1.1. And find the access screen for your Ctrad inbox. Step 5. Fill up the username and password as admin admin. Step 6. Tap the three dashed icon, then choose Wi Fi. Step 7. Choose your Wi Fi router network that is connected to the internet, then input password. If you want to access and control Ctrad inbox in different locations around the world, make sure you have modem router that supports port forwarding communication, allowing port 8001 to be open for your Ctrad inbox IP address. Step 8. Go to the Wi-Fi networks on your cell phone and connect with the same router network you've just used in Ctrad inbox. Step 9. If you're using the Ctrad Inbox Converter for the first time, tap on Register Inbox, written in red, and input your email. Finish the registration after filling up your information. Step 10. Download and install Ctrad Mobile App. Step 11. In Ctrad Mobile App, Hit the plus button located on the bottom of the screen, then choose Search Automatically. Now you will be able to find your Ctrad inbox in the same network, providing two important pieces of information, remote ID and IP address. Take note of this. Step 12. Give a name description. The remote ID should be prefilled, so then hit Save. Step 13. Choose the server with the description just created, then connect. Input username and password as admin admin. You will be prompt to change it for safety purposes. Step 14. Tap on Converters and Instruments. Then from the three-dotted icon, select Instruments. Step 15. Make sure you've previously assigned on your controller's function a proper numerical order. Tap on the Add Instrument button at the bottom screen. Select individual or range of addresses. Step 16. You should be able to see all found controllers at this time. Proceed by logout, then log back in for regular use.